Hey all, this is uh, Kathy of the Santa DM doing another video. Uh, this is another module review. Uh, so in this video I am going to go through Tokenizer, showing you the uses, uh, the setup and how it all works. So first of all, let me show you the module settings. So over here, token. so Tokenizer. <coughs> Now what Tokenizer is, it is a module that quickly allows you to make tokens and artwork. It's really nice and simple. So by default it comes with set frames, so if you upload something as a character or a, an NPC, uh, there are default frames for them. So I can show you those on here. So you can see the default frame for a PC or actor is a grey frame. Uh, for NPCs, it's this red frame. These are the standard uh, forms of it. Uh, you can change those. You can also put a custom one. So if you'd rather have a, a specific, specific custom one for um, your characters, you can upload it and you can tell it take custom frames from here. Uh, so you can tell it to, uh, when you set token up to give it a frame automatically, or you can choose not to. Uh, this is where you set up the um, images. I don't want to get them wrong. I actually need to change. Fix up those. Uh, you set the type of one. Uh, the web webp is the preferred format. Uh, it's lighter and smaller. Uh, token size. I don't change those. It says yeah. Uh, link. I don't really include. Uh, and background and stuff. So quite straightforward. It's a very simple module. So I'm going to show you on this giant owl. So you can see here, it, this is the default um, artwork that comes with the SRD. So I click on here, I now get taken to this screen. Automatically, it's put this circle. Uh, the NPC, you can see here, you can change frame. You can go to PC or NPC and select those. <coughs> it adds these as layers. So I can change the way these all look. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. Let's me off, I'll add a new one. So I've got one for my asset library. If I set this, what I'll do is it import this image. This is something I just pulled, a bit of art from some uh, from a Google search. I like off, get rid of the previous file. So what tokenizer does now, I can let you go to these buttons here, it says add layer and you can take it from, so this first one just says use avatar image, so if I do that it automatically pulls that well. Uh, put on top layer, so put the ring over and already you got most of it and delete the previous layer. Uh, these features here, uh, masking, um, transformations and reset layer, those are ones I use mostly is this one. So I'm going to unlock the, so what this allows me to do is move around this layer. I want to zoom in a little bit and reposition this to get a nice zoomed in of the owl. I quite like that. I can tick that, unlock it. And that's pretty much it. Um, it shows you this. It's um, all sorted there. If I click OK. Now, so you can see here it um, uploads it. So, what it's done is it's uploaded a copy of the token to my asset library. You see, the avatar has been updated there. Now, if I go to my access tab and pull through giant owl, bam, brings it through. And I'll do that for all the artwork. And that's pretty much it. That um, I find it, it saves me a lot of time having to go out, there's no messing around with going to a photo ed editing suite such as Photoshop or GIMP. I can do it all in Foundry. I just find a bit of artwork I like, upload it to um, my server or to the Forge. Or if, obviously you're doing it um, self-hosted, you put it into a folder, do that and then tokenize it as the rest. And so you can change the um, you can change the backgrounds and certain things. So if you don't want it white, 
you can make it a block background and then if you had a um, transparent token or image you can use that background as the highlight so things like that but yeah um, that's a quick simple one uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it showed you something a bit different uh, please like subscribe um, and click that notification bell that's what people say anyway uh, Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.